Well, the top voices from ABC's Nashville are on tour, and the stop here in D.C. is actually a homecoming for two of the show's stars. In fact, Chip Esten, who plays Deacon, is from Alexandria and graduated from T.C. Williams High School. Autry Godfrey caught up with Esten and one of his co-stars and even has some secret background information about tonight's episode. Resident Nashville hunk Chip Esten isn't singing his heart out to make this audience swoon. He's hoping to make them proud. Now to have the show sort of tour through my hometown, it's unbelievable. The D.C. stop on the Nashville cast tour is more like a family reunion for both Esten and Chris Carmack. Esten is a Virginia guy and sharing the stage and screen with him, Derwood native Chris Carmack, who still credits his drama teacher at Magruder High School with helping him chase his Hollywood dreams. Mr. Deanna, Michael Deanna was in charge of the drama program and he uh, was a very motivational guy. Both men get to satisfy their acting and singing aspirations each week on the hit ABC show Nashville. Esten leading the cast as Deacon Claiborne and Carmack, a newcomer, playing a closeted gay musician navigating the Nashville water. A character he doesn't see much of in the real life music city. Basically what it boils down to is um, there isn't an openly gay country singer that's top in the charts. Here's the inside secret on how this week's Salute to Troops episode came about. Turns out Esten has a soft spot not only for his hometown, but for all our hometown heroes as well. If you're going to do a show about country music, you need to do something about the involvement with the military because there's a relationship there that's very, very strong. And Esten said having First Lady Michelle Obama on board for this week's episode was just the icing on the cake. Oh, and when pressed about whether we will see a Deacon and Rainer reunion before the end of this season, well, Esten applauded my efforts at trying to be an investigative reporter, but said we'll have to watch and see. Audrey Godfrey, ABC 7 News.